Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day today. So I am in a little bit of a different setup because today I am so excited to be filming a new version of the 10 by 10 challenge, which I've done in the past and you guys always seem to really like. And I always really enjoy putting together. So today I am putting together 10 outfits using these pieces here behind me on my clothing rack. And I'm so excited today to be collaborating with Rachel McLaughlin here on YouTube. She's also going to be doing this video today. So when you get finished watching mine, be sure to head over to her channel. I will have it linked here in the cards and down below and check out her version of this video for 10 more outfits and a lot of inspiration. She has a great lifestyle channel and shares different minimal living tips and also things about finance and lifestyle and all kinds of things. So I know you guys will really enjoy it. So I'll be sure to link to all her info and be sure to check her out and give her some love. So before I show you the outfits, let me quickly show you what I'm working with today. So I have three different bottoms. I'm starting with, let's see, I have a pair of jeans. These are the Madewell high rise jeans in the eco edition. And then I have the Everlane wide leg crop pants in the white color. I will link down below to anything that is still available and any kind of duplicate items if I can find them. And then you guys know me, I had to have a pretty floral skirt. So I have this one from J. Crew, which I absolutely love. And it's one I really wanted to work on styling better. So I'm excited to work with it today. And then I have three tops. So let's take a look at those. These are all secondhand actually. This first one is from Thread Up and it is a white blouse with button front detail and then a really fun puffy sleeve. So I wanted to play with styling this one and haven't felt super confident in it. So I thought that would be a great one to try out. And then I've also got my Eileen Fisher thrifted um, chambray shirt, which I love, and then just a thrifted striped tee. So those are great basic pieces. And then I have two sweaters here. One is my really, really old Ann Taylor Loft pink sweater, which I absolutely love. I've had this for years and years and years, and it's a great piece. And then I also have a cardigan from Madewell, which is really cozy. I wanted to keep a mix of spring pieces and slightly warmer pieces. I live in the South, so it's definitely warmer here, so I don't need a lot of layers in the spring. So I wanted to do a bit of a variety. I have one dress. This is a thrifted Anthropology brand turtleneck dress, which is just so soft and really cute. It's a bit shorter than I usually wear my dresses, so I thought it would be a fun one to play with styling today. And then the last piece I have to work with is just my trench coat for an outer layer if I need it. So this is what I've got, all my 10 pieces. So let's go ahead and jump into the outfits. So for outfit number one, I am wearing the thrifted striped dress and I've paired it with my trench coat. I really like this combination. I've worn this one in the past and it's just a really classic, cute combination that I think is kind of 60s inspired. And to play off of that even more, I've put on a beret. This one is from Madewell and I think it is adorable. It's really fun to wear. I especially love it now that I have bangs. Well, I've had bangs for a year, but I haven't really tried berets since then. And I think it just looks really cute. So for accessories, I have added a pair of brown ballet flats. These are from Madewell. And then and also a little navy blue crossbody bag. This is from a brand called Dom and I really love it. It was sent to me a couple of years ago and it's great with the navy colors of this outfit. I think the resulting look is just really cute and kind of fun and Parisian inspired, which I love. So that is look number one. So for this next look, I have paired the white blouse with the floral midi skirt. And at first I thought this might be too much fabric, but I think because the white blouse has quite an open neckline, it keeps it from looking too voluminous and at least too much to me. And so I went ahead and pulled my hair back to help with this even further so that you can really see that nice square neckline, which I really like. And I tucked the shirt in just to give a little bit more shape. And then for accessories, I'm wearing my strappy sandals from Madewell. I really love these sandals there. They're boardwalk sandals, which they bring out every year. And if you're looking for a really great pair of lace-up style sandals, I would really recommend these. They've lasted me really well and they come out with them every year, but I think they're a great investment because they are leather and really high quality. So I've been really happy with them so far. And I like how they look with this outfit. And then for my bag, I have my little vintage Etienne Angers bag, which I absolutely love. And I got this on eBay recently and I think it's just so cute and summer and I love how the colors look with this. This outfit overall kind of reminds me of the movie Three Coins in the Fountain, which I absolutely love, and it has that kind of Italian type of vibe, which I think is really cute. So that is look number two. This next look is one that I actually wore recently, and I really like how it comes together. So I am wearing my white trousers with this pink sweater tucked in, and then for accessories, I've paired a little vintage scarf with this, and then a straw bag. And I really like the combination of these two together, the scarf and the bag, because the scarf has some pink tones and some tan tones and then the bag is that tan color but the sweater is pink so it just kind of brings everything together which I think is super cute 
And then for my shoes, I have these Everlane mules on, which I love. I've had these for, I think, a year now, and they're just really cute and really easy to wear. I find myself reaching for them a lot in the spring because they're halfway between a sandal and a flat, and I think that they're just a really great, versatile shoe. I love mule-style shoes, and I really like the pink color of these. This next look is really simple, but it's a really fun one, and I really want to repeat this one, so I love it a lot. And I'm wearing my jeans from Madewell with the white gloves. I have it untucked, which is a little bit different for me. I usually tend to tuck my shirt in just because I like that look. But I think this has a nice detail on the hem and the length is appropriate to where it looks nice untucked, so I have it worn like that. And then I've also paired it with the same beret from before, which I think is just really fun. I like the combination of this more plain and simple outfit with the really fun accessories. So I have that on, and then I also have my vintage straw bag, which I absolutely love and I think really adds a lot to this look. And then also brown ballet flats from Madewell. These are their reed ballet flats, and I think that just brings all the colors together. It's all neutral, but I think it just looks really cute together. Up next, I wanted to pair with making the striped dress a little bit more springy and less wintry. It is a turtleneck, so I thought that would be fun to play around with. So I have it paired with my chambray shirt just tied in front. And the sleeves are rolled up along with the sleeves of the dress to give it a slightly shorter sleeved appearance. And I really like how that looks together. It's a little bit interesting to me to have the button up over the turtleneck, but I think it works okay here. And then I also have this paired with my brown ballet flats and again, the vintage straw bag. I think that straw bags always add a more warm weather feeling to an outfit. So if I'm ever trying to make something feel a little bit more springy or summery, that is one of the first things that I will add. So I really like how this one came together. And I think it's a good example of how you can take this dress from looking more winter to more summary. This next outfit is a really simple, easy to wear one. I am wearing my striped tee tucked into my white trousers, and I really love this combination. I think it looks very vintage and kind of like sailor inspired, which always reminds me of this movie about Coco Chanel that has Shirley MacLaine in it, where she gets a bunch of sailor's clothes and starts to pair them together. So anyway, that is a random reference, but I really, really like that look. And then I have it paired with some easy sandals that I got on Thread Up. These are Madewell brand sandals, but they're just little black slides, and I like how that looks with the black stripes in the shirt. And then for my bag, I have my vintage coach Regina bag, which is one of my all time favorites. You guys know that if you watch my channel, and it just adds a little bit of a vintage vibe to this, which I think is super cute. So that is this look really easy to wear, and a really simple one to put together. For this next look, I wanted to try to make the floral midi skirt a little bit more casual. So I have it paired with a chambray shirt, which I've tied in the front to give me a really defined waist, and then also rolled the sleeves up, which is just how I tend to wear this shirt. I really like that look. And then for accessories, I have a brown crossbody bag, which is from Ralph Lauren a few years ago. I think I got it from DSW. And it's a really great versatile bag. And then for my shoes, I have my Madewell flats once again. And I think that just helps to make this skirt look a little bit more casual and everyday appropriate. This is the kind of thing I wear on a daily basis and feel really comfortable in. So I like how that one came together. For this next look, I wanted to do something a bit monochromatic. So I paired the white blouse with the white trousers. And I think this is really fun together. It almost looks like a jumpsuit, but it's just a really fresh, bright thing to wear. So I definitely wanna try wearing this one again. I think it's super cute. And then for accessories, I've grabbed a straw bag. Once again, this is a handmade one that I actually did a tutorial on my channel for last year. So if you want to see how I made it, I'll link to that video in a card so you can check it out. But it's held up really well and I really love this bag. I do wear it a lot in the summer and I think that the really light, bright color looks cute with this more monochromatic white outfit. And then I've grabbed my pink slides to pair with this and I think that just adds to the light, bright type of look of this monochromatic outfit. It's not something that I would normally wear, but I think it looks really cool and I definitely wanna try doing it again. This next outfit is very comfortable and cozy and the kind of thing I would love to wear around the house when I'm working from home. So I am wearing my high rise jeans with my striped t-shirt tucked in and then over the top I have this really fun cardigan from Madewell, which I absolutely love. It's super cozy and has these really fun poofy sleeves, which I think makes it just a little bit unique, so I really like that about it. And then I've also grabbed my simple slides from Thread Up to add to this. I think they're just really comfortable shoes and look cute with this outfit. And then I've also grabbed my vintage Coach Regina bag, which is my black bag in my collection. So I think this looks really cute together and it's just very, very comfortable and easy. And I think the cardigan just adds a little bit something extra to a really simple base of an outfit. So I really like this one. And then we finally made it to the last look. For this look, I am wearing the white trousers paired with the chambray shirt. I really like these two together. It's actually a combination I reach for a lot in the spring and summer. And then for accessories, I am wearing my 
brown ballet flats from Madewell, and then again, my vintage straw bag. I think that this all combined together looks really nice and simple, but really fresh and summery, springy as well. So I like that a lot. It's a really basic outfit and the kind of thing I would wear every day. And I really like how it looks all together. So that is the last outfit. All right, guys, so we have gotten through all 10 outfits. That took a while, I'm sure, but I hope that you guys enjoyed just seeing how I put all these different looks together. It's always a fun exercise to me to try and make 10 outfits out of 10 items. And it's interesting to see which items I use a lot and which I only use once and different things like that. It just helps me to understand my style more every time I do it. So if you're looking for a good style exercise, I would highly recommend giving it a try. But thank you guys so much for watching today. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm so glad that you're here. I would love for you to subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. You can do that by pushing the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell if you would like to be notified whenever I post in the future. And you can also follow me over on Instagram. My username over there is at just Lauren Johnson. I will link to that down below as well. And guys, make sure to check out Rachel's video if you enjoyed this. I would love for you to go over and give her channel some love and just check out her version of this and see 10 more outfits. I know they will be super inspiring. So thank you guys so much for spending your time on my channel today and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.